Greetings, Fortniters. This is Jakey Seth. We're going to check out Week 7's quests. Dummy says, I'm tired of people treating me like I've got no brain. Let's cause some chaos. Damage opponents and vehicles. Big Chuggis says, Just making the daily rounds. Visit houses in Slurpy Swamp in one match. And Ragnarok says, this Chuggis speaks of power. Do you think he might be one of the old ones? Collect books from Holly Hedges and Sweaty Sands. Now we're going to take a look at that one first here. I'm going to show you where all the books are. Alright, here we go. We're coming into Holly Hedges. First off, let's hit this yellow house here. Alright, just open the door. It looks like I got a friend here who's trying to prevent me from getting to it. Alright, there is the first book. Now you're going to shoot over here to the left. Looks like this dude's going to the same place I'm going. It's a race. Alright, and if you just go in here, there is the second book. And I'm going to follow my friend here to the third book. These houses are right in succession. This big tall one here has the third book. Just go in this room here. Interact. And I didn't realize it at the time, but this house has nothing. But I went in here anyways. Anybody home? Nope, alright, see ya. You need to go to this house over here. This is the fourth house in Holly Hedges that has the books. Right there. Bam. Now let's head over to Sweaty Sands, and I will show you where three books are there. All I need is one more. Alright, we're coming in here to Sweaty Sands. One of my favorite places to spend the day. I like to just go out on the pier, do some fishing. I'm kidding, this is a fake world. Alright, we're gonna hit the hotel first. And right there is a book waiting for my interaction. And there we go, we completed the quest. However, I will show you where the other two books are here. There might be more, but I only know of seven. Alright, just come in here, and then this room over here. Bam, skis. And then the final book. I did this in Team Rumble, so I could enable the ramps and the glider capabilities. It got me from house to house a lot quicker. Alright, and there are all seven books that I'm aware of. If you know of any more, please let me know in the comments below. And now we are going to check out the houses near Slurpy Swamp. Alright, so there are a few structures just south of Slurpy Swamp here. Some are houses, some are shacks. When you look at the map, these three are the most prominent. So we're going to check those out first and see if we complete the challenge. We are in Team Rumble and my team is on this side of the map so I have all the time in the world to check this out. Alright, let's come in here and see if this is one that counts. Nothing yet. Do I have to go in the house? Nope, we'll get it counted. Alright, let's go to the next house. I'm right, going to hit this one with the two grave sites. I just missed the upper roof. It looks like that one did not count. So let's hit this one. This was not one of the three on the map. And anything? Nope, nothing. Alright, let's hit this one over here. This was the third one I indicated on the map. Alright, that one counted. So it looks like one and three count. I'm not sure why I'm going this way. In a moment I'm going to realize that I'm going the wrong way. This is not Slurpy Swamp. We're headed to Shanty Town right now. I think right about here, I realized that and decided to turn back. 
See, Shanti Town. I did go to this house, anyways. And check that out. It looked like there was some sort of boss with a red exclamation point above his head. I don't know what that was all about. Alright, let's double back and see which house we missed. It's not that. Do you guys remember the rig and TNTina? Anytime I come down here, it brings back all those memories. Season 2 was awesome. I wish I narrated my videos back in Season 2. Alright, let's see if it was this house. We have already been here. Nope, it's not that one. Luckily, all these houses are right next to each other. So we could just run around all day until we get the right ones. Looks like that was the ticket. 20,000 XP. Quest complete. And I received a gift from Kick to Buddy. And another gift. Oh, look at that. Dawn's Promise Glider. Chart a course for a new world. And Moro. Warrior from a long lost world. And Vanquisher's Oath. And Destiny's Edge. Very cool. And I did not get the wrap from Kick to Buddy. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase the wrap on my own. Going into the item shop here. See how slow it loads on the PS4? Alright, there we are. Illustrated. Purchase. And let's equip it. Looks like we just collected it. Alright, let's go into my locker. And let's change green arrow into Moro and all his goodies. There's Moro. And Moro can also be a cartoon version. You will see that in a match. I got inspired by playing as Alexa. I really like the cartoon guys. Alright, there's Vanquisher's Oath. Sorry, this is kind of a messy video. I'm just kind of messing around in my locker here. And Destiny's Edge. And yeah, let's get the glider. I love this glider. Dawn's Promise. Alright, let's go in here and get Dawn's Promise. Hopefully she doesn't break her promises. Or are they talking about the beginning of the day, Dawn? And here is Confetti going out and Illustrated coming in. Alright. I think that's about it for Moro and his stuff. And check this out. I also got this emote after a match randomly. Members only. Are you in the club? Very cool and unexpected. Looks like that was part of the Fortnite crew subscription. So glad I subscribed. Speaking of which, don't forget to support a creator. J-I-K-K-Y-S-E-F. That spells Jiggy Sef. Bam skis. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and may the Fortnite be with you.